All right, Zach, thanks for having me out here at Queen Elizabeth School. And we're here to talk about the sport of Australian football with the Calgary Kookaburras and the Calgary Kangaroos. Can you explain to me how the sport of Australian football got started here in the city of Calgary? Yeah, it was probably about 15, maybe even 20 years ago, there was a few Aussies that had moved here and decided that Canada was a fun place to stay. And they missed the sport of Australian football, or we like to call it footy. So they got a few buddies together and slowly grew the club. What makes Australian football different from other field sports? It's a much larger field, it's about 180 meters long by about 140 to 160 meters wide, making it the largest field in sports and probably professional sports as well. To fill a big field, you need a lot of players. So you actually have 36 players on the field at a time. 18 aside. The ball is a lot different than what you'd see in any of our North American sports. The most similar would be rugby. A big difference, of course, is that we're playing with a kangaroo leather ball. It wouldn't be an Aussie sport without kangaroo leather. To move the ball around the field, there's three main ways you can do it. The first and the most common one is running with the ball. And when you run with the ball every 15 meters or so, you have to take a bit of a bounce. The other two ways that you can move it around are a handball or a punch pass, where you just kind of cradle the ball in your hand and swing a hand and punch it through. You can do that in any direction. So it's a 360 degree sport. Same with the kicking motion as well. The kick is a drop punt, very similar to how a Canadian football or American football where we kick the ball, but a lot of time you're going for a nice low angle to make it harder to intercept and to catch. The main way to score in the game is to kick. If it doesn't go off your boot through the goals, it doesn't count as a goal. A goal is scored when you kick it between the posts at the end. You'll notice there's four posts on each end, two tall posts and then a small post outside of that as well. A kick between the two tall posts is what's known as a goal. It's worth six points and then you go back to the middle of the field for a ball up. A ball up is very similar to a basketball ball up where you jump up and try and tap it to someone. If you tried to kick a goal and you missed and it went between that tall post and a short post, that's what's known as a behind and that's worth one point. From a behind, you kick it out from the goal square. A few things that separate Australian football from some of the other similar contact sports like rugby and American football is you're never going straight on to each other. A lot of the time a tackle is a wrap up and a drag a guy down. And if you're playing the sport well, you're always gonna dispose of the ball before someone tackles you. And there's a certain way of tackling, correct? Yes, absolutely. A uh, legal tackle has to be above the knees and it has to be below the shoulders. Anything on either side of those is a free kick awarded to the other guy. Similarly, you can't push a guy or tackle a guy from behind. Those rules are built to make the sport a safer sport for everyone. Just to tie in with the idea of safety, there's also a rule that prevents any sort of risk to the player. So if the referee sees any sort of call that may be seen as a hindrance or a uh, safety concern to the given player, then they can actually award a free kick yes, to that player. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so the sport is always designed with the player in mind. And the umpires that we have, they're here to keep an eye on you and protect you as well. The goal is for everyone to have fun and play and not get hurt. What kind of programs does the Calgary Kangaroos and the Calgary Kookaburras for the women offer to Calgarians old and young? The most obvious one is, like you mentioned, is our women's as well as our men's club. Both of those clubs encompass people about 18 years and older. Over the last five or six years or so, we've developed a few more youth and children's programs to give them a new experience in another sport and hopefully develop down the road future kookaburras and kangaroos. So we have an Oz Kick program, which is for kids from six till nine. Uh, and we've recently introduced Kanga Kick, which is for kids nine and older. We also go into schools. We do a program with the gym teachers throughout Calgary and the surrounding area to give kids exposure during gym class to something new. And what that's done is that's transitioned the kids to teach them some of the new skills and also encourage them to come and try out some of the Oz Kick clinics that we've had going on. The Calgary Kookaburras is actually the only team for the women in Calgary. We pride ourselves on that and really encourage people to come out and play. We have a lot of players who come from basketball, rugby, hockey, literally anything. The Calgary Kookaburras practice here. We're at the Queen Elizabeth High School and on Mondays between 6 and 7.30 we train with the men, the Calgary Kangaroos. We have a joint training session which is really, really helpful. The boys team tend to have a few more Australians. They're the guys that have played since they were literally two, three years old and are able to really 
really give us advice and keys to training and uh, help us with the game all together. So to be able to have them on a Monday night, it's been really helpful. We then train on a Thursday, 6 till 7.30, at the same location here at Queen Elizabeth. That allows the girls to come together, train as one team and bond as a team. How do people get in touch with the Calgary Kookaburras or the Calgary Kangaroos? Yeah, so we're really, really active on social media, so people can reach both the Kookaburras and the Kangaroos on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of our handles are somewhere around calgary.kangaroos or calgary.kookaburras. That's probably the best way to get in contact. We also have an email account. That way we can uh, really communicate with everybody. Why should people try out the sport of Australian football? And in relation to that, what got you into Australian football? I think everybody should give Australian uh, football a go. It's a completely different sport to any other sport in the world. You have a combination of rugby, soccer, American football or Canadian football. It's a great opportunity to be in a, a team. Personally for me, coming from a soccer background, I really wanted to get back into like a contact sport. I played rugby in high school and went a few years without doing it. This is a great introduction back into contact sport. So I definitely encourage people to come out. Literally no experience necessary will teach you all the skills. It's a, a great team. As soon as I joined, I had this automatic feeling of friendship. The girls are super, super friendly on the kookaburras and the boys, a lot of them are Australian. So they've come from far, far away places. And you can probably tell from my accent, I'm from England. So coming to a new country, trying to fit in with everybody. This is a great sport to be involved with, meet new people. And we have a great social side of the team too. So no excuse not to come and give it a go. People should come and try out the sport because it's a fun, new and exciting sport. It's new for us. Australian football has been around for over 100 years, but a lot of Canadians have just never had the exposure to it. It's a great team atmosphere. The men and the women get to train together. We do a lot of social events as well, whether it's a rookie party for everyone, both teams traveling down to a tournament, up to Edmonton, out to Kelowna or down to Banff. Those are all things that make it fun and exciting to join. It's lots of running around too. You know, they say lots of exercise gives you endorphins and gives you that release. I always feel fantastic when I get to go run around with the guys and girls and there's nothing better than taking a nice high mark and kicking a beautiful goal. <laughs>